Let's do this. Welcome back, awesome people, to Cocktails and Consoles. It's Melissa, and I am super excited to start this series. This game, oh, it not only made my childhood, it made my adult years. I just, I just love it. If you've never heard of this game, this game is called Prince of Persia. Now, Prince of Persia is what I like to call a reboot done right. The original Prince of Persia was released in the early 90s as a very beloved 2D platformer. Even with the simple concept, the game was addicting. Then, in the 2000s, the game was overhauled in an amazing way, taking it not only out of a 2D to a 3D interface, but also taking the characters themselves into a 3D format, giving them life when they were pretty much faceless before. Even without a name, you get to see the growth of the prince's character as he learns that nothing he's been in before has prepared him for this. Not only do I love this game for the characters, I love, love the interplay between the prince and Farah. Okay, I'll admit, I am a sucker for the will they, won't they, the calamity bringing two people together who had never had any romantic interest in each other before, and this game does it so well. It's one of my most favorite romantic stories. And if you love sass, let me tell you, these two deliver. Now, to come up with a drink that is worthy of a princely title, I decided to go a little showboaty. Now, this drink, which, like the prince, doesn't have a name, you can make this alcoholic, you can also make this non-alcoholic, simply by switching out the Prosecco for 7-Up. Now, what you'll need is either a bottle of champagne, Prosecco, or 7-Up. If you don't happen to be a champagne fan or don't want to drop the $50 on a bottle, I don't blame you. That's why I love Prosecco. Prosecco, to me, has more flavor at a much better price point. If you haven't heard of Prosecco, Prosecco is Italian sparkling wine. Now they can't call it champagne because the only thing that can be called champagne is sparkling wine that comes out of the Champagne region in France. But who cares? I honestly think this is a better, this is a better drink. <laughs> Next, you will need some edible gold leaf and some mango simple syrup. Now, you can go out and buy mango simple syrup or you can make it at home. It's really simple to do. To make this... First, start off with three mangoes. We're using honey mangoes for this, but you can use any kind. Be careful when cutting into the mango because there's a seed that runs from top to bottom that you cannot cut through. So you're going to want to cut just on the outside of that seed. If you're not comfortable using a sharp knife for this, you can use a butter knife. Here, I'm taking the heel of my chef's knife and scoring the inside of the flesh. Similar to cutting an avocado, this helps you to cut out the meat of the fruit and leave the skin behind. Once you flip the mango half inside out, it's easy then to just cut out the pieces and leave the skin behind. Repeat this with the rest of the mangoes. In a saucepan over medium heat, combine one cup of water with three-fourths cup of sugar. Add in the mango and stir until well combined. Keep this on a medium boil and cover for 30 minutes. After 30 minutes, take it off the heat and let it sit for a bit. Add in a good dash of vanilla extract, followed by a little bit of lime juice. Stir and then carefully pour into a fine mesh sieve lined with a wet paper towel. This will keep any mango pieces out of the final simple syrup and keep it clear. To add more mango flavor, lightly press on the mango pieces to release some of the juice. Finally, you'll need some edible glitter and some corn syrup. So first thing we need to do is we need to dress the glass. Now, if you can't happen to get your hands on some edible gold leaf, you can use a regular gold leaf. But what I recommend doing is if you're not 100% certain it's the edible type, just dress the side of the glass, stay away from the rim. You're gonna take a sponge and just dab it in to the corn syrup. You kinda wanna stamp the corn syrup onto the glass. Now, once you have your glass, you want to take your gold leaf, 
You just kind of drizzle it down where you have the corn syrup. You want to go super heavy on this because you're going to be brushing a lot of it away. Once you're sure you've got it all covered, you're just going to want to roll your hand on top of it to really flatten it down. So once you have your glass ready, give it a few seconds for the corn syrup to dry and really grab onto that gold leaf. And then, with a very delicate touch, you just want to lightly pull away the excess. Now it's okay if it's not 100% clean. You're going for the antique look anyways. There we go. Now, you want to take your mango simple syrup and your edible glitter and pour a good amount. Take a knife, give that a good stir. Next, take your sparkling simple syrup and just pour a good amount into the bottom of the glass. The amount really is up to you whether you like it a little sweeter or not. And now, the fun part. It has taken me a long time to learn how to do this without making a projectile in the house. Whenever you go to uncap a bottle of champagne or a bottle of Prosecco, always, always, always keep your hand on top of it. There's a lot of pressure in this bottle. You're going to take off the cage, keep your hand on top, and just ever so slowly, so gently, start to twist as you pull up. You'll find... Mm. <laughs> I scared my cats. <laughs> there you go. Now, the mango simple syrup is going to react to the Prosecco, so you want to pour very slowly at first and let it react. Oh, I don't know if you can see the glitter just swirl in the glass, but it's so pretty. Another trick if you want to reduce a lot of the bubbles on top is to angle the glass as you pour. It also works for beer as well. And there you have it. Of course, if you want to go super simple, you don't have to dress the glass. You don't have to use the edible glitter. You can just use the simple syrup and the champagne or the simple syrup and 7-Up. And it's still a wonderful drink. And there you have it. If you happen to make this at home, please take a picture and please tag me in it. I love when you guys make these. It's just, it makes my day to see your creations. Cheers, awesome people.